Capricorn hello and welcome back to my channel welcome if y'all are new my name is Jazz and this is going to be a Capricorn reading for Capricorn Sun and Rising Venus and Jupiter sit back relax take a chance you guys you can smash that like button or leave a comment down below do not forget that Mother's Day is right around the corner you guys if you still need a Mother's Day gift check out the link in my description box below for my code to rose forever there are so many wonderful arrangements like this one behind me or this one that my microphone is sitting on um, that you can give to your mom and they are good for up to a year they're preserved naturally but it's just something to say thank you to you guys say thank you to our mamas and let's go ahead and get started guys stay tuned for more that's coming to the channel make sure you guys are keeping an eye out on the community tab also don't forget to check out my main channel jasmine's intuitive tarot where i do daily general readings for spiritual growth i do love and appreciate y'all let's go ahead and get started there are collective readings by the way all right capricorn 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 this is for my capricorn uh males let's do that this is for my capricorn males that would like a message and love this is this is for them. What do they need to know or be aware of about love? My Capricorn males, my Capricorn females. I love y'all. I love you guys. Y'all know what is up. Y'all just sit back, relax, and listen to the reading. We're going to see what's going on here. Husband. Okay. 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 Husband with wedding. Who is it that you're trying to, um, to get with here? y'all who is it who is it that you're trying to get with here you got purge and release and walking away why with wedding underneath that wedding energy what's going on what's going on capricorn males capricorn males dreams and illusions with partner oh boy oh boy what's going on here you got the unspoken truth at the bottom of the deck, frustration and engagement. You want to marry somebody. You want to be with somebody. I can feel that. I can fucking feel that. And to be honest with you, I, I do feel like there's somebody that quite deeply wants to be with you. But I, I am sensing here that you're wanting to be this, this um, husband, right? You're wanting this love, but... There's a lot of confusion that you're picking up on here. And this is confusion. Like, this is quite a clear message here. Unspoken truth with frustration. Like, you're very frustrated that this person, this feminine energy, or the person that you're dealing with is not opening up, right? They're they're not being clear. They're not, you know, saying what needs to be said. And I feel like this is having a lot to do with mirroring energy here, right? Storm ahead. So be cautious. Yeah, this energy is so clear. There's a lot of situations where memories will pop up. And it can create this stormy energy. It can create this frustrating energy and y'all can go back and forth. But I feel like very deeply there's a love that you have for this person that it bothers you to the point because y'all aren't where y'all where, where you want to be with them, right? And we have this energy of partner. So I do feel like you are feeling that this person is your person. And you're trying to figure out like what the f is going on? And I feel like, to be honest with you, this is this is the same back and forth energy. What needs to be spoken on your part? And there's there's a there's a clear sense of frustration, not only coming from you, but coming from them. And I feel like there's it's, it's like neither one of you feel heard, to be honest with you. I feel like neither one of you feel heard here, Capricorn. And it's almost like a needing to slow down. Can we just like talk? Can we can we not have this sense of. Like, can we, can we talk, right? And, you know, what, let's take a look. What needs to be said, right? What, what needs to be said? Six of swords and the emperor. You got them both in reverse. Something's not done. Something's not over. So for some of you, this is this is somebody that you've been dealing with, right? This is somebody that you've been in a connection with. You don't want to let this person go. You don't want to leave. Bottom of 
Bottom of the deck is the world, the hangman, the queen of wands, king of cups. It's a completion of some sort of a cycle here. Does not mean things are over. What needs to be spoken? What needs to be said? Because there is a lot of energy that is still unsaid. You have Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. What needs to be said here with this unspoken truth and frustration? Page of Swords. So a conversation, basically. It's like a, a clear conversation to clear the air. It's a healing conversation, right? It's a conversation that brings healing. It's a conversation that brings peace and calm to, to the connection. It's a conversation that allows everything to kind of be laid out on the table and things to to be transformed. Yeah, High Priestess. There could be secrets. Yeah, with the freaking Queen of Swords on the other side of that. You see how that happens? There's secrets that need to be that need to be unfolded. There's things that have been unsaid. And I feel like there's been a lot of intuitive telepathic energy going on here, Capricorn that needs to be translated into the physical like this is very etheric and you know spirit is really saying in order for things to actually progress there needs to be a, a conversation fuck a meet and we about to have a sit down got the phone up in plastic and stick it in the fridge <laughs> that's that's like seriously fuck a meet and we about to have a sit down sit down like we need to have a sit down and talk and clear the air like this is like a clearing of the air type of situation here something's not done yeah somebody feels like you and them are there's chemistry between the two of you and this chemistry is not only you know emotional and physical it's spiritual right the queen of wands and the king of cups is a very spiritual energy here and i feel like it's one that you guys can't get over. And, you know, nope, yeah, look at this. The star, come on. This is destiny, fate. This is beautiful. It's almost like the stars have aligned to bring you two together. I feel like you feel this, they feel this. Yeah, Empress at the bottom of the deck. It's, it's, we don't have to lie to each other about this. We can, we can let this happen. Mm-hmm. We can let this happen. But again, there's there's a sit down that needs to be had. There's conversation that needs to be conducted. <clears throat> I like this. I do. Like I, I like this because it's 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 honest. You know, it's honest, Capricorn. And, you know, I feel like you have a lot that needs to be said. And I feel like this person has a lot to, that needs to be said. But I feel like the conversation itself is going to be conducted in a very um, structured way. Like, it's, it's like we're going to get right to the point of conversation. Right? We're not going to go left, right? We're going to, like, be on topic about what we're conversing about, what we're talking about here. Kisses, yeah, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. You're in love with whoever this is. And there's been a sense of not showing with this mask energy true feelings here. There's been a lot of elusive energy, a lot of confusion energy. <coughs> They're going to also, excuse me, been gaslighting and deluding from the from the actual problem. But, you know... Sometimes you have to delude from the problem because you have a chaser or somebody who is running a codependent energy, right? Depending on what side you're, you're kind of looking at here. But again, I feel like you want to lock this person down. 
There's so much energy around marriage. There's so much energy around commitment. This is for my Capricorn males. What do they need to know? Twin flames. Yeah, this, you and this person, it's almost like confirmation for you here. Because I feel like you are wondering, like, eh, what, like, what the f is this connection? It's, it is what you think it is, right? It is what you think it is. Things have arrived in your life for a reason here with the clock. The sword and the rose. Yeah, and it's like, now is the time for clarity and truth and the revelation to, to also be had as well. Endings bring new beginnings. Let's end this cycle of frustration and this cycle of unspoken truth and bring it to, to a head. You know, it 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 is it da All right, this is for my Capricorn males. How does this person that they're dealing with feel towards them? Boom. I can't even make this shit the fuck up. I really can't. I really can't. The lovers. Oh, can we talk about this, please? Can we can we stop playing these games? Somebody is in love with you. Somebody sees you as this as wish fulfillment. This person quite literally loves you. They care a lot about you. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as somebody that they could share their life with. They see you as somebody that they want to share, you know, their Oreos with, right? Let me stick my hand in your popcorn bucket. Let me sip off of your Slurpee straw because you ugly and I love you. You know what I mean? Like that type of energy. But I feel like this person subconsciously fights it. There's a lot of sexual energy around this as well. Subconsciously. Um, this person it could have a lot of thoughts about you subconsciously. Mm, yeah. I feel like the feeling is absolutely mutual here. To be honest with you, I feel like whomever you're dealing with wants a long-term partner they want long-term commitment there definitely is a lot of uh heavy energy around communicating that to you i do feel like this person wants a husband i do feel like this person wants to get married i do feel like this person wants to be committed only to you to be honest with you like i don't feel like this person wants anything else and i feel like they want this to happen quite quickly like and they want to actually be solidified like in some sort of connection here capricorn we have the page of cups and we have the queen of wands bottom of the deck is the three of cups six of wands justice energy just understand that this person is quite attractive this person is they've got a lot going for themselves right and i feel like you know that they know that um, and this person is very intuitive and the energy that they give off is very like bright white light type of energy as well, just like you. Um, in this four cups, I feel like there's just a lot of lack of communication that needs to be undone. Yeah, because I feel like the two of you feel the exact same way about each other, but you're fighting that. And if this person is too busy dealing with third party situations, then it's time to leave. But if there's just a lack of communication, then something needs to be hashed out. Bro. Third party literally third person that car card comes flying the fuck out you've got the dog which is a supportive friend healthcare provider somebody that's dependable helpful you got the sun and you got the moose I 
I feel like this is you wanting a very loyal and loving, very dependable type of connection or relationship. This person, you could know this person from work. This person could work in healthcare. This person um, could work with pets. But this person is your soulmate. You share a connection with them. And this person is on your path of purpose. Um, and there is a reason the two of y'all have met each other. Okay? Time alone to figure things out is fine. But I feel like there's an energy of needing to come forward and have this conversation with one another. It's like now is the time for that conversation. All right? Any closing messages here, please, Spirit, for my Capricorn males? We have lust. If he only knew how much I crave you. Closing messages for my Capricorn males. And you guys got communication and change. <sighs> Bottom of the deck is not finished. So I'm calling you because you're the one that captures me. And your love has transformed me forever. I am changed. And if you only knew how much I crave you, I love y'all so much. Thank you for joining me here today and I'll speak to you guys in the next one.